Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of lines of symmetry. This is standard 4.6b in the great state of Texas. We are using item number one of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got three shapes here. We've got a triangle, we have a square, and we have a trapezoid, but they're just labeled shape J, K, and L. And here's the big question, right? Which shapes appear to have only one line of symmetry? And at least one of these has to do, because none of these options are none of these, right? So only, that's the key, not at least, only one line of symmetry. Now we need to know what that means. A line of symmetry, well, first off, it's an imaginary line. And it what it lets you do is it fold it lets you fold a shape in half uh, with no overlap. So that means that if you were to take a shape and fold it along that imaginary line, you would not see any part sticking out. That means it cuts it exactly in half. So let's look at these three shapes, okay? So shape J is a triangle here, and hopefully we're seeing, all right, so we've got, I'm gonna draw a dotted line, pretend this is a straight line, right down the middle, right? I could cut that in half, fold this part over here, and it would line up perfectly with that part. Now, this is, uh, as you could tell, these two sides right here are a little bit longer than that bottom side right there. So that's actually an isosceles triangle. That means we've got two sides that are the same length. That, cert that third side is either going to be shorter or longer, in this case, shorter than the other two. If it were an equilateral triangle, right, like this, pretend all three sides are the same length, you can actually cut the equilateral triangle from all three different corners. And so equilateral triangles have three different lines of symmetry. But the isosceles triangle, that's it. That only has one line of symmetry. So definitely it's going to involve uh, shape J, right? So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those two because it has only one line of symmetry. Now let's look at shape K. Well, hopefully you're seeing this vertical line right here. But hopefully you're seeing this horizontal line. So we are now at least seeing more than one. So we know it's not going to be shape K. That's why we can get rid of those two. But that's also not it. Take a look. Since this is a square, all four sides are the same length. You can't do this with a rectangle, but you can't do this uh, with you know different other parallelograms, but you can do this with a square watch. You can also do diagonals. If you kind of look at it sideways like this, if you take this side and then fold it over, you're going to get that's exactly, it's going to match up, which means that this diagonal also works. So I see one, two, three, four. This has got four lines of symmetry. Way more than what we needed. All right, and let's look at shape L. Okay, so shape L is a trapezoid here. All right, and always start with vertical and horizontal. And those are gonna be your easiest to, to at least look for before you start looking into diagonals. All right, so yeah, we could do this vertical right here. This side right here can fold over and match this side perfectly. Uh, the horizontal is not going to work because, let me switch colors here. And if I were to try this horizontal, you see this right here would end up kind of looking like this. It's not going to match perfectly. So not a horizontal and then definitely not a diagonal because it would end up kind of looking... Uh, like, like this, like it wouldn't, it wouldn't match. Uh, that side would go to that side, and the other diagonal wouldn't work either. So, it looks like we've just got one on there. Okay, so we need to say both J and L, right? Obviously, we've got C and D, but it is going to be both J and L. They have only, not at least, but only one line of symmetry. So our answer here is. D, shapes J and L only.